Hello, it's the IT guys, and welcome to Microsoft Excel 2013. So today we have a very large table of data, and we're going to be having to look at the freeze panes options. So what freeze panes allow us to do is allow us to keep parts of the spreadsheet visible as we scroll. For example, at the moment I can't see the top headings as I scroll down my spreadsheet. However, I can use freeze panes to allow me to. If I go to view, then come over to freeze panes and click freeze top row, this will freeze the top row of our spreadsheet. So now, as I scroll down through all of my data, my headings are still visible. We can also do a similar thing with the first column. But first, we're going to have to unfreeze this top row. First, we come over to freeze panes. And now we click unfreeze panes. Now I can scroll as normal again. To freeze this first column, come over to freeze panes and click freeze first column. And now if I scrolled across in my spreadsheet, that first column will still be visible. I'm going to unfreeze it. Now you might be thinking, well, I might want the first two rows visible and the first three columns visible and at the moment I haven't shown you how you do that. To do it all you have to do is click on a cell which is just to the right of the columns you want to freeze and just below the rows you want to freeze. So I'm going to have these first three rows and first three columns frozen. So I'm going to go to this one. Now, I just come over to the freeze panes and click this top option which says freeze panes. Now, if I scroll down, our first three columns, three rows I mean, stay visible. If I scroll across, our first three columns stay visible. To unfreeze them, all you have to do is come over to freeze panes and unfreeze panes. That's all we've got to show you in this tutorial. There's plenty more tutorials on our channel, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and for now, thanks for watching, and goodbye.